I have learned a thing or two about men, a thing or a hundred about men since being a matchmaker since 2008. And I'm going to share a few of those things with you today. This goes for affluent men. This goes for all men, really. All right. So in no particular order, first of all, one of the things I've actually learned is that nothing is as it seems. Oh, number one, this leads me to this, that I think a lot of times when you go out with men, and I've seen this online, you ladies talking about it, that if a man is on a date with you and he's just talk, talk, talk about himself, maybe he's even bragging about himself, he's not really asking much about you, you want to slap that label on him, your friends will go, girl, he's a narcissist, don't you know? But that is not always the case. What I've learned from working with these guys is that a lot of times it they do that when they really, really like you, when they're nervous, when they're excited. That sometimes they want to sell themselves on you, but it's not because they're a narcissist. Maybe it is, but not always. A lot of times it's just because they're excited and want to impress you. Okay? Number two, a man, yes, a man will date you for many months, weeks, years. I know a guy that dated a friend of mine for 10 years had no intention of ever marrying her or starting a family with her. So yes, they will do that if you let them. All right, number three. If you wanna know if a man is really divorced, then you have to use the words legally divorced. You have to say, oh, so you're divorced. How long have you been legally divorced? Okay, because a lot of times in their minds, they think they're divorced. But really, technically, they're just separated. So if you want clarification, you got to say the words, so how long have you been legally divorced? A man will try to sleep with you sooner rather than later, if especially he doesn't see any future with you. So maybe he goes out with you and he finds you obnoxious. Boom, he's still going to try to sleep with you. Maybe he goes out with you and you drink too much. Boom, he's going to try to exploit that. Okay, but just because these guys, well, especially because these guys try to sleep with you so soon, does not mean they see any kind of future with you. And oftentimes, they don't see a future at all. And last but certainly not least, so many things I could tell you, is that men are not mind readers. Men are not mind readers, ladies. So they don't know what your communication style is. They don't know if you'd prefer to be texted or called. And their default is to base it off of the last woman they dated. So if she liked to be texted, he's going to operate under the assumption that's what you like. So if you prefer to be called, tell them. If you prefer to be texted, tell them. Okay? Men are not mind readers. You got to help them out a little bit. All right? And don't forget, I have a couple spots left for my group coaching starting next week. We're going on the great man hunt, ladies. Do you want to join?